Hi there, this is Evangeline. I'm from Menno Indigo Dye Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to create a big cross with a full square on your fabric, like what I'm showing you like here. We can see a very big cross in the middle, and we can see another four squares on within the patterns. First of all, we need a full oxidized processed fabric. Um, you can choose cotton, linen, wood, or silk. It depends on what you want to create the pattern. But um, this scale is quite difficult to create on the t-shirt. So you may choose like a, a flat fabric. It will be easier to, to process. Okay, and we need few little tools, which is uh, introduced in the previous film. It's made of a plastic ring and a rubber band. We can tie it together to create a set. Today we need about four sets of them. Okay, first of all, we need to flat our fabric on a flat table. We have to find a big cross in the center of the fabric. So we need to fold it once. Remember the line to line, edge to edge, top to top, ankle to ankle, and press the edge firmly. And we fold twice. So we can easily to find the rear center of the fabric. So press it many times. And then we can see the big cross in the center here. Okay, now we fold the fabric. We can find the four ankles. So we fold the ankles into the center one by one and press a little bit. Sometimes if your fabric is not really, really square, maybe it's a triangle, so you will get difficult to find out the center and fold it. But it's okay, just sometimes fold it like this, it will be fine. You can see the double layer here is fine. So, the ankle to the center, you can see the double layer is here, it's fine. Okay, now we still continue folding. We got another angle and match the center, match the center cross and one by one. Press a little bit in case of a loose. Okay, so by doing this way, we turn the big fabric into the small, small square. Now we fold the fabric to a triangle. And then we hold one top of it, one ankle here. We fold it, press a little bit, and then open it. So you may follow my step and then turn the reverse side, do this once again. Press. So we now fold it to a little square here, but we don't lose the center point here. The real center point is here. So remember, once you lose it, you cannot create that beautiful pattern. So you have to start over again. And then, now, we have to fold it another time to a tiny triangle. And press a little bit hard, because we have to make sure we can see the middle line here. So we can divide this to the upper 
upper part and the lower part. So we fold as two parts, divide it to three sections. So we fold it and fold it back, then fold it up again to divide it to three parts of it, three equal parts of it. And press it really hard, don't lose it, otherwise you have to start it over again. And then we turn over, do the same thing once more. Okay, press, fold, and press. Now hold it carefully, don't lose it. We have to tie our little tool on it. We can see clear there's an anchor, there's an anchor here. So we tie the plastic ring and the rubber band about here. And we tied it really, really hard. If you tie it hard, you can see the white pattern, white lines clear. But if you don't do this, your pattern will be not so clear. So that's another one. Sometimes you'll find it difficult to hold it because it, there's just so many, many ankles here. And tied it, bend it, you got it, put it really, really hard. Bend it about four rounds and then tie it. Okay, we can see another two ankle here and here. Get another two and tie it again. Bend it. Cross over the rubber bands. And then the last one. Find an angle. Hold your plastic ring and bend the rubber band. About four to five runs. Cross over the plastic ring and pull. Okay. That is the pattern we create. And that is the way we fold it, combine it, we bend it. So if a bind do this, sometimes you can find another like tools to create another more delicate pattern. Like this. We can see the really clear big cross in the center and the little four cross around the four ankle and we can see four squares here. So this is created by another tool. Like um, we can find easily like a uh, um, wooden stick or we call chopsticks. Or we can find the uh, ice cream stick at home. Or any material you can, you can clip it on and tie it up. You, you can create a pattern like this. It's more clear, more delicate. Okay, we can see that. So by doing the same folding technique, by using different tool to bend it, tie it, or clip it, you can see the different pattern on your fabric. That is the way we create our work in the, in the way we like it. So hope you enjoy today's film. If you like us, please subscribe us on YouTube channel or go to our Facebook fan pages. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.